Lenovo Yoga 6, a two-in-one laptop that can also become a tablet. A really good device that I really, really love, but it has some very frustrating things. For example, the model numbers that Lenovo wants to give to these laptops, they are incredible, literally to the point where it's impossible to search for it. So the moment you search for a laptop from Lenovo, they, you have to be careful with the specs, you know. You can search for Lenovo Yoga 6, but then in your country might be different specs than my country. So I'm from UK, so this laptop, it's actually a Lenovo Yoga 6 85 UD 005 UUK. So I hope I got that right. I'll, I will put the name in the description just in case. So this is a 13.7 inch display, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U. And it's a pretty cool little machine, you know, I use it a lot. So we're going to go through some topics today and we're going to see how good is the device. The first topic that we're going to talk today is the typing experience. So the typing experience is pretty nice on this device. The buttons are really clicky and feel nice to the touch. You can feel that it was built with quality in mind. So at least on this side, you know, there's nothing to complain about Lenovo. Well done. What I love the most to be clear is the keyboard shortcut. So for example, the volume buttons, they're literally where it's supposed to be the brightness button and after the volume button. So it's not like some laptop that they put the volume button in the beginning and the screen size, or the screen size, the brightness at the end. No, it's literally one after the other. So it's, it's literally perfect. So for me, I really love how they use the shortcuts. Now, the next one we're going to talk is about performance. Now, when it comes to gaming on this device, I tested three games, GTA 5, Rocket League, and then Apex Legends. So we're going to start with GTA 5. GTA 5, it's, you don't have any problems on playing it. You will have to reduce the quality to low, but after that, you know, you, you can play the game, you can go online, you can go offline, you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to leave the footage here for you to be able to see for a little longer how the game works. When it comes to Rocket League, all the settings are medium, you don't have any problems, you will be able to play the game like nothing happened, and you'll be able to run the game perfectly without any hiccups. Now when it comes to Apex Legends, now this one is a little bit tricky, so you have to put everything on low, because if you leave everything on medium, then you won't be able to start the game for some reason, so you have to change all the settings to low, then search for a game, then once you're in the game, so once you start a game, you can go to settings and then start putting some of the, some of the, some of the settings back to, you know, medium or high even and stuff like that. So for me, uh, shadows and anti-aliasing has to be half completely, but then the quality and the draw distance and everything, you can actually increase a little bit. So you have to search for the, uh, so the, you know, that the perfect spot where you want your settings to be and how you want your game to be to work. But the game is actually playable, which I was, I was really impressed. I wasn't expecting a playable Apex Legend on this device, but. I have to admit that was pretty cool and you know one of the things that I actually appreciate about this device. Now when it comes to video editing on this device, so if you want to use uh, programs like DaVinci Resolve for example, you have literally no chance. Simple tasks like cutting a video actually has 5-6 seconds a delay between it, which is becoming incredible to use, it's impossible. But if you want to use programs like Filmora 12 or CapCut, which I actually use to create this video, I will use a combination of Filmora and CapCut because they both have some of the things that I love, then you don't have any problem. You will be able to use uh, the programs, you'll be able to edit the video 4K, so everything that you see right now, it's exported, edited under Lenovo Yoga 6, and then it's uploaded to YouTube from the same laptop. So video editing and including photo editing. So I use my I use Photoshop to do my thumbnails here on the on the device, and I don't have any problems with uh, with photo editing with Photoshop. So pretty sure once you will start you know building like 3D graphics, yes you will struggle if you start to do this in Photoshop. But for for the basic photo uh, photo editing things, then you won't have any problems in Photoshop with this device. 
Now when it comes to the display on it, the display is really nice to look at. It, it gets bright enough if you're in the sun and you look really amazing when it comes to watching a movie. And because it's a tablet, you know, you can put it and watch a movie in tablet mode. So keep in mind because it's a tablet, it's also becoming a stand. And the resolution is 1900 by 400, which I will go about, let's say like 2K. So it's pretty decent resolution and you'll be able to enjoy all the movies and all the video games on the go with no problem. Speakers. Now the speakers, I'm not going to comment. I love them. I, I wish they were a little bit louder, but I love them. But here is a little sample for you to listen. Now, final thoughts, I personally love this device, you know, has a beautiful design, has a beautiful display, has literally when I need it, I can also use it as a tablet or I can use it as a tablet with a kickstand, which for me it's a big win, but because it's, it's so nice and it's not, it's not heavy at all, you can carry it with you everywhere, has decent speakers, has decent performance, and right now you can literally buy it for about $500 brand new or you can go on eBay and you can search for them for about 300 So for me, this performance is amazing and I will literally recommend every single person to go get a laptop like this. The only thing I don't like and I will literally let you guys know right now is when you search for the laptop, be careful what specs you're checking. So I know it's a Lenovo Yoga 6, but keep in mind, it's also coming with an Intel version. This is an AMD version. And on Intel, it also comes with an Intel Celeron version, which it's, uh, don't buy that one. It, it doesn't work. Out. So yeah, for the money and for the display and for the battery life, which battery, life, by the way, I forgot to talk about, the battery life is pretty amazing on this device. The battery life, you get about five, six hours of heavy work or about eight to nine hours of just, you know, screen on time on, you know, watching YouTube videos and uh, doing your typing, your Word documents and everything. So, you know, it doesn't beat an Apple, don't get me wrong, an M1 for example or M2 is still better battery than this device, but uh, I, I still like it and I still love it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.